everybody thank you so much for staying tuned today um let me start by apologizing for not being able to post any video last week well i had a lot of schoolwork to do and it was super hectic and super busy that i couldn't even make out enough time to properly sleep or to sleep properly not to even talk of film or anything so i kind of felt ill and i had puffy eyes but all of that is gone now so i promise i would not disappear like that again or i'll try not to disappear like that again because it might happen again no i'm joking so today's tutorial from the title says it's a collaboration and yes it's a collab with a beautiful sweetheart of mine here on youtube her name is told me and her channel is called beautiful entity so we teamed up to come up with this uh look titled a pop of color it's a spring summer kind of look which is really wearable and beautiful and sexy and all of that so be sure to check out her channel and show her some love okay so here is my own take on the look it's um it has lots of colors and all of that to scream spring on my eyes and I tried to tone it down on the lips so that it wouldn't be too bold okay because we have a lot of colors going on in the eye and yeah the colors were actually inspired by this headpiece I have on my head which I got off Amazon for like a pound to pound I was I'm not so sure about that but it's that cheap and it's really really cute and it was also inspired by this shirt that I'm wearing this down top sort of that I'm wearing so yeah um, I actually intend to film a get to know me video soon so if you have any questions that you would love or anything that you would love to know about me please leave that in the comment box below as well as any request you might want me to um, treat or film about so leave that in the comment box below I hope you enjoy this look remember to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to and give this video a thumbs up if you love this video okay so i'll be seeing you guys next week friday and this is my promise i'm not going to disappear i'll see you guys next week friday yeah so bye enjoy this tutorial so i started by applying the same concealer i applied underneath my brow bone all over my lid to even out the base then i went into this margaret apple palette by house of tara and i'm using that deep purple color i'm applying that in my crease and slightly above my crease to form as a transition color and crease color then i'm applying the ny extreme Pro pencil and milk all over my eyelid and blending with my finger then i'm going to go back and take more of that color and apply it in my crease and blend that out properly we're working with color so we don't want to see any harsh edges or anything around there then i'm using this lemon green color from the glassy palette sorry i'm out of focus here but basically what i'm trying to do is to build the color over my lid leaving out the outer V and the inner corners of my eye. I'm applying that green color at the outer V of my eye and dragging that slightly into my crease. This is going to help us create a bit of a depth in that area. And then I'm going to be blending that out. Like I said, we're working with color, so we don't want to um, escape or leave out the blending part of it. I'm applying that dark green color again over the green that we applied at the outer V and I'm still going to be blending that out. Then I took more of the um, deep purple color I applied on my crease and I'm placing that again in my crease. So with the green everything created this darker color that would help us create that depth I wanted in the crease. Then I'm applying this yellow in the inner corners of my eye and I'm using a small detailer brush for that. I believe that's a detailer brush. Then I'm packing more of the lemon green color on my lid to make everything perfect and nice. Then I'm taking this Inglot gel liner in 77 black and I'm using a thin liner brush for this. I'm creating a short, very short wing, something not in dramatic, something very short. Then I'm placing the MAC Studio Concealer I applied on my eye, underneath my eye to brighten out that area. Then I'm applying the color I applied on my crease underneath my lash line and blending that out properly. Then I'm applying the Inglot gel liner also in my waterline and I'm going to be smudging that out with a pencil brush. I 
and then I'm blending that out with the same color applied in my crease and underneath my lash. For my lashes, I'm using this Blink Lashes by Blink. Well, hold on, let me take a selfie while I'm waiting for my lashes to get dry. Click. Click. <laughs> So do check out my last video, it's a detailed tutorial on how to apply false lashes like a pro and I'm not going to go into details here because I already did that in my last video. So I will be going off camera to complete my foundation and all of that which I also have a video um, which you can also check out. I'll try and leave the links in the description box and I will be right back. For blush, I'm using this deep pink from the Sleek Makeup Blush by 3 Palettes called Lace and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheek while trying to blend that out with my powder brush to make sure that everything is nice and seamless and all of that. Then I'm applying this Kiko Lip Pencil in 747. I'm using this to line as well as fill in my lips. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the whole lip thing in neutral and nude, not too bright like the eyes and all of that. So I'm applying that all over my lips. Then I reach out for my Journey Liquid Lipstick in LLG12 and I apply that just to the center part of my lips. Sorry, I had a little bit of injury on my lips. Then I'm applying a clear gloss all over my lip to kind of make the whole lip look shiny and all of that. Then I wasn't okay with the blush I applied. It didn't come out so well on me. So I used the Sleek Blush in Fenberry and I applied that again all over my cheeks. And with that completes this tutorial. Like, it's very easy, it's very simple, it's wearable, it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. So stay tuned for the part where I pretend to be a model and a hot one at that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're yet to and I'll see you guys next week Friday. Mwah. Bye!